Hey guys, happy fall. I have a haul. It's been a long time since I posted a personal haul for me. Honestly, I haven't done a lot of, kind of shopping all at once. I've picked up new things here and there, like the new jeans that I've been wearing this year from Gap that I love, um, and a couple new different kinds of t-shirts from Target, from Gap, uh, no, from Gap, from Nordstrom also that I love. Um, but I haven't really bought a lot other than that. That's my mama form. I like to call it my little mom uniform that I wear every day. Uh, but I have picked up some new things with fall in mind. This is a collective haul. It's stuff I've picked up over the past few months actually, but it's all kind of fall-ish. So I thought I'd show you some clothing, some accessories, a beauty item, and some home things too. And I just pulled my hair down because, yeah. So it's a, I need to get it cut. It's getting a little shaggy, but, um, we're just gonna go with it. You guys know my hair never looks awesome, so we'll just go with that. So I think I'll start with the clothes. I shopped at Gap and at um, uh, Target. I'll show you the Target shirt first. To me, fall means plaid season, but here in Chicago, it's still pretty warm, usually almost throughout the entire month of October. It starts getting cooler, but it's still warmish. And I can't really break out my like woolly flannel plaids until closer to the holiday season when it gets really cold. Also, the, the flan a couple of flannels I have are just really short and I've been into wearing longer clothing lately, um, like longer tops, more tunic length tops. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of been more my style. Um, so I wanted something that I could wear in the fall that was plaid, but lighter weight and more tunic length. Well, I found the perfect tops both at Target and at uh, Gap. Um, this one from Target, uh, I got in a medium. It's really, really soft and super light. It's not wool. It's not flannel. Um, I don't know what it is. It's, I'm sure it's some, you know, combination of materials. Um, let's see. Oh, it's, it's rayon, but it's uh, very, very soft. Super soft. Something I could totally wear even if it's like 65 degrees out. Still feel really cute and fallish. And I just love the color scheme of this. It's double pockets, which I prefer in my flannels, although you'll see the other shirts I have don't have the double pockets. It's got a very long um, back especially, so if you're wearing just leggings, um, it covers your tuchus, which is nice. And I just thought that was really cute. And then I got a couple of similar kinds of tops from Gap. These are even softer. They're a little bit uh, war warmer feeling. Um, what, what material do you suppose this is? Um, oh, it's also rayon, but it's just maybe a different, slightly different weave because they're a little bit more soft. This one's a bit more silky in texture, although it's not like silk-like. Um, this one's a little bit fuzzier. I've already worn this. I love this. I actually wore this the other day. It was a like almost over a week, a couple of weeks ago now actually, where's time going? Um, that we went up to an apple orchard in um, Northern Illinois with um, some family, which was so fun. It was my first time taking Charlotte to the apple orchard and we love Edward's apple orchard in Poplar Grove. It's the best. Anyway, I think I bought these in a medium too. Yeah, these are medium. They're loose, they're very big. Uh, these are, I think this is a little bit shorter than the Target one. Yeah, the Target one's a little bit longer, but it's still longer. Um, and I enjoy wearing this with just like a t-shirt like this underneath and then having it open or even buttoned up a little bit. It's just good for nursing, kind of a little extra support. Uh, not support, coverage if you're out and about. Um, like I was that day with her. Uh, it only has the one pocket. Again, I'd prefer if it had two. I just like symmetrical things, isn't that weird? Uh, but it's just so soft, so, so soft. And I thought this was a really great fall um, colorway with the um, kind of aut autumnal pinks and, and burnt orange and brown and, and all that. So I really like that. I bought the same style shirt in this almost kind of, this to me kind of screams Christmas. Um, and again, it's just something I can layer up if it's cooler or just wear on its own. Um, you know, we have a heated house, so I could wear this at Christmas totally. I just love, love, love the color scheme of this. It's got kind of a navy green, uh, red, orange. It's got almost every color of the rainbow, but it just looks very holiday to me. Um, really like these shirts, and I'm very glad that I found those because that's exactly what I was looking for last year when I was very pregnant, and I just couldn't find anything right that would work um i don't know why i just couldn't find anything i wish i had found these because i could have totally worn those with like a pregnancy tank underneath and just kept them open and it would have been perfect but i didn't find them 
This was not something I planned to buy, um, but I had I was shopping for Charlotte. I posted a baby haul last week, actually. I'll, I'll throw that up in a card for you guys want to see it. Um, I was shopping for Charlotte for fall. Gap was having a huge sale. They've had a lot of sales lately. 40% uh, off your purchase, I had rewards and all this, and I was like, well, okay, I'm just gonna look at the women's stuff and see if there's anything that catches my eyes, because it's a really good deal. And I saw this, and I was like, that might work. I figured I could just return it if it didn't work, so I was shopping online. I really love this. It's a really cozy puffer jacket. This is, I bought a medium. Honestly, it's huge. It's really big. I could have totally gotten the small, but I, I decided to keep the medium because I figured I could even wear like a fleece underneath it if it's really cold, like winter time. I love that they have the hood. That's a really great addition, especially if I want to wear this in the winter for walks with Winnie and Charlotte and be more bundled up. It's got the faux fur um, hood, which is the faux fur lining is um, removable. Um, and then it's lined in this really super soft jersey. It's Prima Loft, so it's really, really warm down um, puffer, and I just love the navy. I was so close to buying this beautiful red instead, but I was like, you know what, that's just not going to be as useful for me. I know I'll get much more use out of a more neutral tone, but the red is gorgeous. Uh, for accessories, I bought a pair of shoes. This is definitely a YouTube maybe do it thing. I saw, uh, who was that? It must have been Tiffany, because she's really the only person I've watched hauls from lately. Yeah, it was Makeup by Tiffany D. hauled these tennis shoes like a month ago. And I fell in love with them, and I just happened to look on Zappos, and they didn't have them in my size. But the great thing about Zappos is that you can type in your email. You can say, email me when they come back in my size. You type in your email, they send you an email, and then you can buy them uh, when they're back in your size. I guess they've been pretty popular this year. Because um, I wasn't in the market for new tennis shoes, although I have worn out my Merrells that I bought. I just bought them early spring this year, and they're already ground to the, like, the soles. They're down to the, they're, they're worn out, let's just say, already. So I'm happy to have a new pair of shoes. I just, I don't usually go through two pairs of walking shoes in a year, and I could totally wear the Merrells for the rest of the, the year, but I just... I treated myself. These are so comfy. I haven't had a pair of New Balance shoes in a very, very long time. Um, and I've never actually had one just as an everyday walking shoe. I don't think. I can't recall now. It's been so long. I've been wearing those Merrells for a few years. Um, but they are so, so cute. Look at this beautiful mauve color with this. I don't know if it's going to show up. It's got like a sparkly end on it. And I like the gray tones and the gray kind of inside part, and they're just so cushy. And you can take the inserts out, and I can put my orthotics in, and I thought these would be great little fall sneakers, and I can wear them next spring too. Uh, I can wear them all year round, but they're very um, kind of subdued tones, so I thought they'd be great for that. And these, if you're curious, are the classics. That's all I know, but I'll have them linked below if I can find them. Um, Another accessory I bought, now this I actually have had for a couple of months and I talked about it last week in my favorites. Uh, and it sounds like you guys want to see um, a video about them, about them, about this bag. So I probably will film that for you very soon, like a what's in my bag. But I wanted to show it here too because it is something I purchased lately and it is kind of fall-esque, although to me it's a year-round bag. This is the um, Legacy Backpack, I think it's called, from JW... Whom, whom, I don't know, I still don't know how to pronounce it, don't know. I'll just write it in what it is, okay, because I don't know. Um, but I've been using this for a couple of months now, a little bit more than that, actually, like a couple, two and a half months or so. I love it, it's my everyday bag. I don't carry a diaper bag around with me. I don't even leave our diaper bag in the car anymore. I only use that for travel, really, um, or for going on like a really long day trip or something. Even when we went to the Apple Orchard, I just brought this. Um, it's packed to the gills with mostly baby stuff. Uh, I've got a changing pad in there, diapers, toys, snacks the whole boogie wipes, the whole nine yards. And I have some of my things too, some low, uh, hand cream and um, what am I doing here? Lip, lip stuff, lip balm, and uh, mostly I use this back pocket, which is one of the features I love most about the bag for my wallet. It's just so easy. I can be carrying 
baby wearing Charlotte and have this bag on too and not have to remove any of that to reach my wallet or my phone. I can tuck that in there too. Um, it's a great bag and I love it and it's beautiful, beautiful leather. So I'll talk more about this bag in that video for you guys. I'll do a bag buzz post on it too if you guys want to know all the like specs and stuff of the bag. Um, but uh, I will try to film that for you guys real soon so you guys can kind of take a peek in there. But I thought I should mention it because it is definitely... Uh, something I've bought in the last couple of months, and this is a collective haul, and very fall-esque. Although, like I said, year-round bag, I have a feeling I'm going to be carrying this for a very long time. I love it. Beauty item. This is a new palette. Um, I did go ahead, and I'm at a point in my makeup collection now where if I want to buy something new, especially in my eyeshadow palette collection, I've got to get rid of something old. So I got rid of a Smashbox palette that I've had for maybe about six years now. It was just time to let it go. I haven't used it in several years, um, even though it was a great palette and I loved it, especially when I was first getting into makeup in my late 20s. So I made room for this. This is the Miss Fabulous 12 piece eyeshadow palette from Ulta and it's in collaboration with Jenny Fox and you might know her on YouTube here as Miss, Miss Jen Fabulous. I will link her channel below. I have watched Jenny for years. She was one of the first handful of beauty people on YouTube that I started following before I even started my own channel. Um, I just love her personality. She's very, she kind of just t says it like it is. She's, um, you know, she's just, I don't know. I just love her personality. She seems really sweet and bubbly, but also very just down to earth and real. She's, you know, she doesn't put on a show or anything. There's her picture, you can see it. She actually sent me this. It's a really, really sweet gift. Um, I had actually already purchased it, but I've gone ahead and given that to a friend um, because she sent me this one. And I was always planning on, you know, including it in this haul, but um, I just thought I should mention that she did send it to me as a gift. There was no strings attached. Um, she also sent a really sweet outfit for Charlotte, which was really cute. Um, we've been kind of in communicate. We talk occasionally. We chat back and forth on Twitter and stuff every now and then. So uh, it was just a nice gift. She doesn't know that I'm including it in, in this video and it might pop up in a favorites because I'm really enjoying it. I'm wearing it today. It is fall makeup to me, like absolutely dead on fall. Autumnal colors, warm, beautiful red and orange and brown tones. Um, very, very up my alley. I love warm toned eyeshadows, especially this time of year. And to me, this just screams fall. Uh, and it's beautiful and I've really been enjoying wearing it. It comes with a little brush, which I actually really like as well. I normally don't like the little brushes that come with palettes, but this one's really nice. Um, and it wears beautifully. Uh, it's very soft, soft tones, um, and that's right up my alley. And I like the packaging. It's got a great magnetic closure. It's a great little palette. It's, on a great, it's a great price. I think it's about 20, maybe it's like 20 or $22 or something like that, which is a great price for this kind of palette. Um, and I really am enjoying it already. So a lot of these things I've already used and some of them I haven't like that puffer vest, you know, but I, I feel like I'm kind of reviewing things at the same time. Lastly, I said I had a uh, home goods thing. I went ahead and bought the Nest Fragrances Rediffuser and Scented Candle in the Pumpkin Chai scent. I haven't actually smelled this yet. I've been waiting. I'm doing an on, on camera test here. Um, I bought these from Nordstrom. I had my eye on them since last winter when I re I talked about them this brand in my um, holiday gift guide. I've loved this brand since. I've been using their candles and their rediffusers since. Um, and I was like, next year, if they still have it, I'm getting that pumpkin chai for fall. And they do. Oh, it smells so good. So here's the candle. Beautiful. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's this beautiful, very dark, kind of burnt brown. <laughs> beautiful um, candle holder. Oh, it smells so good. These candles burn so beautifully. They burn so clean um, and they just smell amazing. They have a great throw. I don't can't speak specifically to that candle because I haven't used it, but all of the Nest candles that I've used so far are great. And their reed diffusers are my absolute favorite. I've used several different brands over the years and this is by far lasts a bajillion times longer and actually has a throw. 
Like it doesn't just last for a week and then doesn't smell like anything anymore. It, the smell lasts as long as the oil is in the bottle and the oil will, you know, evaporate and go into the air, I don't know, with time. Um, but um, it's just this sort of deal. I don't wanna open it right here because it's oily and I'm prone to spilling things. But um, this is gonna be in our uh, powder room downstairs um, for fall and it's just, Beautiful, and I know I'll be buying the winter ones again, the holiday ones, when that time of year rolls around. Um, I find the rediffusers last me about four months or so. So I might, um, for the end of its life, I might move it to a different bathroom so I can put a more holiday one in in December. But that's everything, you guys. That's my my fall collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, apologies for the, I don't know what to do with this. How about that? <laughs> How about not? I should just put it back up and <laughs> leave it up always. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'd love to know if you've picked up anything for fall that you're really excited about. Um, let me know. I think it's fun to share that kind of stuff. And uh, I hope you are enjoying the first couple weeks of fall here. And if it's getting more fallish where you are, like it is here, it's getting a little bit, there's little hints of Christmas in it. Christmas, not Christmas, but crisp. And uh, the leaves are starting to change, and it's just a beautiful time of year. October is my favorite month in the Midwest. It's just gorgeous weather here in the Chicago area. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful fall wherever you are, and I will see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.